Back up! Do you know when the straight ends foundation sound fun? <laughs> Welcome to the Builder Factory! You're probably wondering why you're in this place! It's just because the game designers wanted the level to be small! My name is Builder, and today I'm going to be your worst nightmare! <laughs> Guide through the game mechanics! Let's start with the basics! Follow me! You know what to press, don't you? The tool wheel is available under the scroll, or under the left bumper on the gamepad. Try it now! Under the Q key, you'll always have a task list available regardless of the game mode. As soon as you move the controller, the game swaps the controls to it. This way you'll never get lost. Fantastic! My maker always said that everything needs a solid base. Let's start with foundation. Select a shovel from the tool wheel and dig the area for foundation. and reinforcements. As a real builder, you have to use the store to get the materials you need to build. Press tab or select on gamepad to open the store. Good job! Choose the first store available. Now on the left is a list of available categories according to the stage of construction. You can change the number of items you want to buy to 1, 10, or 100. Buy 100 formworks and reinforcements. the left mouse button or the right trigger on the gamepad you can insert them in the blink of an eye each stage of construction shows holograms to help you visually indicate which stage you are currently at you know the joke about how one person works and the rest just watch you just became part of it Wheel on the bill goes round and round. Creme de la creme! Pouring the foundations! 
to the wheelbarrow and pour concrete over the foundations. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, builders waiting just for you! That's it for this part. I'll see you at the concrete mixer in a bit. Yeah! Welcome back. You're probably wondering how come you had concrete in your wheelbarrow in the previous level. The game designers didn't want the stage to be too long. Let's find out how to make it. Choo choo! create two types of mixes, mortar and concrete. Mortar is needed to join the blocks. Concrete, on the other hand, is used for foundations. Let's start by turning on the concrete mixer. You will lose one dollar for each second you leave the concrete mixer on. So make it quick and effective. All the ingredients you need can be found around the concrete mixer. Above the concrete mixer, there are the ingredients you need to create a mortar. Start with the sand. Take your shovel and put some in. needs a proper concrete screed. 
Let's continue with what we've prepared at the first stage. Get your shovel and dig the ground! to buy some reinforcements. Every house you build needs reinforcement to make concrete more durable. Buy 30 grid reinforcements. Now place them on the foil. have it waiting in the wheelbarrow. Cheating is fun sometimes, huh? Pour it over! Great work! It was scarier in previous demo, wasn't it? done with a concrete screen loop. It'll get a lot better and rewarding from now on. Simulators must reflect reality. 
but we have prepared a lot of interesting solutions for you that will speed up your work considerably. See you later, Excavator! Yeehaw! After a while, Crocodile, it's time for the load-bearing walls. Quickly! To the Batmobile uh, uh, training room! I'll take you through it on the way. There are certain types of walls. In our game, there are three types of walls. Load-bearing walls, plaster board, and concrete partition walls. Trust me, it's the most rewarding part of the construction. You'll see the effects immediately. You'll need to get hollow blocks from the shop. Buy 100 of them now. If we were real friends, I'd have really concrete advice. Fantastic! Now it's time to pick up mortar. You can find it in the wheelbarrow. Select trowel and pick up mortar from the wheelbarrow. Once collected, it remains on the trowel until the resource in the wheelbarrow is exhausted. That way you don't have to go back and forth. We're taking notes from the last demo, huh? In Builder Simulator, we have a leveling system that allows you to build houses faster the more you build them. Try it out by placing the first hollow block. Use the trowel to lay the mortar on the hollow block. Great! Now place the hollow block on it. Level up! I never thought someone would level up from the first hollow block. Now you've unlocked double hollow block placement. Give it a try. You leveled up again. Holy trowel. Let's see what happens now. Egyptian buildings I have in my data. Let's put up the scaffolding. Scaffolding will be very helpful when working at heights. Select a scaffolding from the tool wheel. You can rotate it by clicking the right mouse button or left trigger. And not only that, when you get close to the ladder, you can fold and unfold it. Climb the ladder by clicking on it. I'll tell you a secret about layer 12. The 12th layer is the lintel layer. Never heard of it? Its task is to transfer the weight from the opening to the adjacent walls. Above every doors and windows, you need to place one. Buy one lintel from the shop. Fabulous! Part of the walls is to set the ceiling when you reach the right height. Ceiling holograms will automatically appear when you fill in the blocks on the last layer. And this is the moment when you have to place the ceiling blocks. Buy 20 ceiling blocks from the shop.
Some would say the sky's the limit. But for us, it's ceiling blocks on each level. <laughs> Enough dad jokes. Put the ceiling blocks in the hologram. scaffolding with drills. This way, when your house is built and beautiful, you can take a picture of it. Yes, we do have photo mode. The next step will be doors and windows. See you later. Yeah! <coughs> Welcome back. Eager to learn more? Today you will learn how to insert doors and windows. It's pretty cool and easy. Follow me. Every building needs a door to enter and windows to bring light into the house. Our game is no different. Remember from the previous stage when you inserted the lintels? You don't have to do it this time. But you need to know that they are the reason we can put in doors and windows. Let's start with doors. By one front door. Great. Select it from the inventory and look at the entrance of the house. You may notice that the door is in the wrong position. Adjust it using the scroll bar. Hologram will turn green when it's done. After placing the door, you have to choose which pattern you like and apply it. Great job! Now you have to screw in the hinges. Choose a drill and insert the necessary screws. All the screws that need to be screwed in always light up orange. Imagine using a screwdriver. Now it's time for wedges. Simply fill them in by clicking on the highlighted areas. you know how to insert a door. You can even open and close them by clicking on them. Don't worry about the foam. We'll talk about it later. Amazing! Let's move on to windows. There are two types of windows. Any window under two meters on the planner is a standard home window. Likewise, any window over two meters is already a patio window. You dictate the terms on the planner and choose what size windows you want to insert. For the purposes of the tutorial, you will insert a single window. Buy one window from the shop. Nicely done! Now try inserting them just like a door. Same principle, same fun! Now it's time to put in all the screws you need. Insert the wedges. Insert them by simply clicking on the hologram. Support wedges are used to support and stabilize the window in the window opening. What? Did you see how the foam filled itself after the wedges were inserted? We thought that doing it manually would be boring, so we automated it. Remember that every window requires a sill or threshold. Adjust it like you did with window and door.
patio window next to you. You can see the difference. That's everything for doors and windows. Remember, you decide how you want your house to look. See you in the next stage. Yeah! Partitions separate rooms from each other and should, therefore, have the best possible sound insulation properties. Let's start with plasterboard walls. Of course, you have to mark them on the planner first. But for the purpose of the tutorial, on the partition walls themselves, we've already determined them. You're welcome. To build a wall, you need floor, ceiling, and wall profiles. Buy 100 profiles in the shop. Great! Now place them in the hologram and screw them in with a drill. Remember that the profiles are screwed to the ceiling and floor. something to screw the plasterboard to. Isn't that amazing? Buy 100 plasterboards. Well done. Now place them on one side. Looks great. After installing the plasterboard, you need to use screws to attach it. Take your drill out and screw them in. Mineral wool is often used to do that. Buy 20 mineral wool in the shop. Excellent! To lay the plasterboard on the other side of the wall, you must first lay insulation between them. Select it from the inventory and insert it in the missing places. Lovely! One more plasterboard on the other side. This is how partition walls are insulated. The profiles must be fixed to the floors and ceiling, and the plasterboards to the profiles. There's also a second type of partition wall. Concrete partition walls. Assembly is very different. First, you need to lay a damp-proof course. By 20 insulation. Now place it on the ground. Good job. Remember what you've done with bearing walls? You need some mortar. You'll find it in the wheelbarrow. Once the mortar has been collected on the trowel, it remains until you've exhausted the stock in the wheelbarrow. Pretty cool, right? It took our game designers way too long to figure out this solution. Place mortar! Everything's ready for concrete blocks. Don't forget the lintel over the door. Buy 100 concrete blocks and one lintel. You won't need as much but you never know when inflation will get to the DIY markets. Build a concrete partition wall.
Have you ever heard of following the procedure? I bet you didn't. Superb work. One more fun thing is that you can destroy them! But first, you have to mark with an eraser which wall you want to destroy on the planner. This time I'll do it for you automatically. Got your back, Jack! If you're not happy with the partition walls, take a sledgehammer in your hand and destroy them! You've already got the walls covered. I wonder what's next. See you in a minute. 